Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're on our 300 KTM rebuild and we're looking at the Z dimension. How to test and set the Z dimension for whatever specific value you have in your owner's manual. So let's get cracking. So this, um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways, um, a more a technical way and a less technical way. Basically they all work. Um, so let's get, so first of all, what is the Z dimension? The Z dimension is the distance from the top of this cylinder down to the power valve there. So you can see the power valve move there, look. That's up and that's down. So we measure it when the power valve is fully down. So make sure that this lever is fully down. Now we're gonna measure the distance from the bottom of the power valve there to the top there. Now, every every year or year or so, they change the spec slightly. So you need to check uh, in your owner's manual on, on your year and what dimension. But my dimension that I need is 47.5. So I'm gonna show you two ways to do that now. First way, I have my trusty uh, calipers. I'll set that to 47.5. So that's set to 47.5. Now I can't put my calipers down there because look, one, it won't fit, but all, well it will if I adjust it, but it's gonna scratch the bore um, and you can't quite get it in there. So the great thing about these calipers or all calipers with a thing is that it's got a depth gauge there, as you can see sticking out there. So with the depth gauge, we can very gently put the depth gauge, rest the caliper level on the top of the top of the uh, cylinder and we can look down there and we see that the depth gauge goes down there and then we'll be at 47.5. So the best way to look at that is to look up the exhaust port. Okay, but there's a word of warning that the exhaust power valve is at an angle like that. I'll um, actually get a piece of paper to draw that and makes it a bit Okay, easier. this is a really crude uh, drawing of your, of your cylinder here and this is the power valve. The dotted line is when the power valve's at the top and the, uh, the solid line now, is the power valve's down here at the bottom. But as you can see, the Z dimension is from the beginning of that power valve to the top of the cylinder head. But it, as you see, because that slope goes like that, if you push something in, you're gonna expand the, the, the distance. You might be ended up measuring from, say here, to there. So your Z is gonna be bigger. So this is the thing you can't push, that's why if you have a pair of calipers in there and you push the calipers in too far, you're gonna, your Z dimension is gonna be wrong. So you need to measure it from exactly that point, just as at the start of the power valve. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you. So because of that, when we put our, when we put our calipers like that, when you look up, when you look up this exhaust port, you're actually gonna see the end of the caliper sticking out. So it's actually gonna look like the caliper is actually, well, the distance is, um, longer than your actual current setting, but what you're actually looking at is that is where it breaks from the power valve to the bottom of your caliper. Yeah, so how smooth is that joint? So let me show you now, looking up the exhaust port. Okay, there we are, you can see, look down there, you can see that the, you do it like that, so you can see the, there's been a bit there. So that's actually the set at the correct level. And that's what it looks like. So when you do that, you've got to be very careful that you run your finger up there and you check how the top of the valve blends into the caliper. So it's actually, it looks like it's a good way to do it, but actually I've got a slightly easier way of doing that, which I'll show you now. So another way, which is just, works just as well. So this is set obviously for um, 47.5, which is what the setting should be. So get yourself a, a, I don't know, an ice cream lid or something like that from the fr freezer or... This is actually from a um, strawberry punnet that we had. That's all I had left. So it's not the best color because it's, it's clear. But anyway, then use your calipers here to just gently sc scratch um, two marks there, which will be 47.5 um, apart. And then just cut perpendicular in, in, and cut slice out. And then you know, for instance, and then you can check it with your calipers again, but that's definitely 47.5. Okay, and then we can use this to to check the power valve. If you don't if you don't have calipers, you can just use a, a, a ruler or something like that. If you've got a ruler, you can uh, estimate it. Um, so yeah, let's just use it now. A little measurement, and we rest it on the top, and it see it just just cut just. You can adjust it with that. You can find out where it is. But if I push that in and further, you can see how 
the plastic twists look at the bottom there that's showing you how that power valve slopes down so that fits in and I'm that's totally right so just this is perfectly okay to set your power valve with okay now if your power valve wasn't at the right uh, setting then how do we how do we um, adjust it so basically there's your power valve up fully open now it's fully closed that's the measurement we're measuring now this this bracket here hits on the top of this um, retaining bracket behind it you push that down so it's hard and then you need to loosen this bolt here and this bolt's got a, uh, this 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 bracket's got a slot in it so then you can move the actual power valve around so obviously if it's you know which direction you need to move it once you've measured it and move it slightly and then retighten keep your hand on here so you're pushing it down tight on the at the stop and then tighten that up and then go back uh, and check it with your gauge check it with a trusty gauge until you get the right dimension in there now i'm it's, it's going to be a bit fiddly um but it's trial and error and you'll get it done so that basically is how you set your power valve very simple set your z dimension and that's one less thing to worry about so now now watch the next video and we'll be looking at setting the x dimension of the cylinder as we cylinder and piston as we put it back together you have done it